Hello <laughs> and welcome to the wonderful, beautiful Stratus Gaming Podcast. I'm one of your hosts, Robbie Rob. Joining me in the other corner as well is the wonderful Aunt Gore who caught me at surprise. How you doing, Aunt? I, I was trying to wave to you, um, but like I couldn't talk to you, and I don't know if you can hear me because I was like, hey, I was like, hey, I don't, I was fucking with stuff, and I didn't know if you can hear me, but I tell you how I'm doing. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I, I go to look right and I see, oh, it's transitioning. Oh, I don't know if God, you can was... hear, I put that, but I don't know if you can hear that. I put that, I they put bugs in the sound pit. <laughs> oh, I, I I did not hear that, no. Why does that not, oh, wait, oh, wait, wait, wait. No, yeah, Hold it, you should have heard it, whatever. Okay, I'm doing oh, good. You can give it one more try just, just to make sure. Yep, I'm not hearing it. Yeah, that's weird, because they were hearing it in the Discord. Well, yeah, but then we also switched, uh, what was it, headphones? Or, out, or like an But no, device? my input is Wavelength Stream, which is what the input for the thingy is. All right, yeah, well... we'll, we'll it's not that serious. This is not a word, this is not a matter that needs to be fixed right this second. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, no, it is not. But you know what is to talk about? We, we got a, a, a little bit of news. I don't know what the, the news is. Up. I'm looking for the, um, Mitch is yelling at me because I called him a liar. And he was like, no, it's working, you piece of shit. Is it? Yeah, he said it worked. He said it just went through. All right. Well, with, with that, whatever whatever he wants to believe. Like, we got we got a bit of news. So normally we, we talk about a lot of, you know, some beautiful uh, stadium news. But, like, right now? It's no, all, we're, it's we're like, all like xCloud and Luna today, right? Yeah, uh, yeah, we got some huge Luna news today. Like, screw the, screw the Game Pass news. It's all about <laughs> Luna. They they came up with so much news. That'll be our first topic to talk about because, boy, <laughs> is it worth it. But before we get to that, I gotta know what you've been playing. Okay, so here's the deal. I went back to work. Um, so I didn't play anything at all. Zero. I played nothing. I went back to work on Monday. Um... So I've been going to work and coming home immediately and going to sleep. Yeah. Taking a nice little nap. Yeah, I no longer have COVID, so I could go back to work. So, you know. I yeah. am going to make an attempt on Thursday to buy a PS5, Del. So maybe I'll play some stuff soon. Yep. With some good yeah, old Biden books. I'm to do that. But yeah. Uh, I will say I have played a little bit more than you in, in that case. Because... I, I, I haven't played as much as I normally do, uh -huh. but let me tell you, uh, you can probably guess Yakuza on that list of games I've been playing. Mostly, yep. Sounds about right. Yep. Going through Yakuza 5, uh, my wife and I, we went ahead and skipped uh, 4, to, and because it, it's... Why, do you not, not like 4, Rob? What's the problem with 4, Rob? Uh, simple. I wanted to get through number 5, because that's where, like, a meat of the story is. Okay. 4 is like a, is like a like, 5, 6 hour game, and it's like... No, I, I don't have enough time. I, I, I don't have time for me to do that and then try to get into uh, Yakuza 6 next week. Because, mm -hmm. yeah, 28th of... Or is it? Is it the 28th? No, 25th uh, next week, next Thursday, is the release of Yakuza uh, The Song of Life on Xbox Game Pass. And boy, am I excited for that. I don't know what that is. I never heard of it. Is this another Yakuza it, game? It is. Yes, yes. Yep, it, it is the 6th. <laughs> It is the sixth game, but technically the seventh one released. Okay, gotcha. In the in the, in the mainline series. Okay. Cool, cool. There's a lot of Yakuza games. Are, are there, there more there, Yakuza games than the Arcade and Hearts games? Yes, absolutely. There's 18. There's 18 Yakuza like, games. I think it's like 10 Kingdom Hearts games. <laughs> but they're only on part three, okay. guys. They're only on part three. Okay. Now, are we are we counting like at little expansions like Remind? Or no, Remind is just Final Mix. Like it's not really a whole new game. Yeah, so it's really just an expansion. It's just like the the the, the year the uh, the game of the year edition is pretty much what Remind is. So yeah, let's see. There's at least two games uh, that are attached to Kingdom Hearts One. Two games that are attached to Kingdom Hearts Two. Besides no. Kingdom Hearts One and Two. So there's like three three and three. I mean, in the final mix, they're they're really just movies. No, there's three there, games. There were games. There's three games for one, three games for two. Yeah, which is what I said. So you said two. Besides, yeah, oh, besides two. the main Bes game. Gotcha. Okay, I got yeah. what you're saying. So, because you got a chain of memories, three fifty eight over two, 
And then you had a what? Um, recoded. Recoded. And... Yeah, it's like oh, ten well, games. Uh, Birth by Sleep. Yeah. And and then like whatever was a part of two point eight. I'm really I'm really sad, Rob. You couldn't hear my voice bites. I don't know what's happening. I don't know either, uh, and that's sad. I did a sad because it worked in the regular Discord, but in the call, it's like, nope, not coming out. Go fuck yourself. It probably has yep, to do with OBS because OBS yeah, is open. Probably. We'll we'll figure that a little later. Yeah, it's not, like I said, I'm just, yeah. I'm just I'm just messing with stuff. Yeah, I mean Kingdom Hearts. I mean, when it comes to a streaming service, it's going to be fantastic. Like it, like I think the the first streaming service it might come to might be uh, uh, GeForce Now because. Because um, you're more likely to be able to connect your Epic account to play the game than them trying to get it on Game Pass or, uh, or I mean, it's technically on Game Pass, but to get it to the streaming side of things. As much no. as I would love, I would love that, because then I could fully get rid of the Xbox. Ah, and just you know, you, they, we've already learned this lesson. People are finally coming to realize you still need an Xbox. With, I don't know if we'll get into that news today. It has nothing to do with the xCloud stuff, but you 100% still yep. need an Xbox. Yep. If you want to take full advantage of Game Pass. Yeah, people... I'll take a full advantage of Game Pass, yes. But like for the games that I'd probably want to play on Game Pass, yeah. which is going to be mo well, most I mean, of the first party games. Yeah, because people were real upset that um, Outriders not coming out to PC Game Pass. Real upset. Yeah, not coming to PC Game Pass, but it is coming to xCloud. It is coming to xCloud, so we can talk about that later. Okay, where's the dot cam? I lost it. I found it. Yep. They yep. put bugs Still, in them. Uh, for, for those who aren't aware, uh, normally I have like a dock all set up on the side. It's not. A, a nice Google dock. <laughs> it, it, it is not set up. In fact, both of our slots are still blank on um, <laughs> what we've played. Because I know since last week we did the multiplayer of, uh, of um, Watch Dogs Legion with a friend of the show, John Scar. Of us. Uh, I mean, I won't call him a friend of the show. I don't think he knows his show exists. <laughs> Oh, he, he does. I, I, I posted it in our group chat. Oh, did you? <laughs> yeah. I, I, I made sure to let him know is that, yeah, we'll do that right after our podcast, Travis Gamer Podcast. Weekdays, uh, 6 o'clock Pacific, 9 o'clock Eastern. Okay. Right here on twitch.tv forward slash addictive nerds. Gotcha. You can listen to the show later at podcast services of your choice or on youtube.com forward slash a bunch of letters and numbers because. Yeah, we have to work, on, we have to work on getting that to 100. But well, we have not yeah. pushed that channel as nearly as much as we should. Yeah. Did you and, even and upload yeah. last week's episode? What was that? Did we upload last week's episode? Uh, we, we, we we did not. Why uh, not, Rob? I, I, yeah, like I said, I have been slacking the last week. <laughs> a lot of work, I will say. A lot of CBC jobs. And it's like, I, I, I get around to like, you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to, mm -hmm. I can quickly do, do we it. we upload it to it podcast out. services? Uh, no, that's, that's all a part of the same thing. So God damn week, it, Rob. So, yeah, last week's show was only the VOD, which you didn't even stop it to restart it. You just just went straight into uh, the gaming with Watch Dogs Legion, so I actually have to cut down half of the Yeah, no, I said video. that. That's why I put the, the starting soon stream up there, so you know when it did it. Oh, yeah, I mean, yeah, but I, I, I still have to download the entire thing. Yeah, I Which, yeah, isn't that much, but still takes up space. It'll be fine. Yeah, That's and then I got a silver. Yep. You know what? I could probably do that in the middle of the show. Do not do it in the middle of the show. Just wait till later. <laughs> yeah. But but with that, though, I mean, I also haven't played that much games because, yeah, I've been doing a lot of uh, business work as well at my job. So it was like, yeah, not not too much of actually playing games, except Yakuza. And, yeah, like, we're, we're, we're now probably a good 6 or 7% into the game, which is about, let's see. 14, 15 hours. <laughs> oh, so, did yeah. Rob shave? Uh, yeah, I, I, I did uh, uh, cut it down a little bit. Uh, I don't really look at Rob's face that much. <laughs> yeah, no, he's, he's just looking at my voice and even <coughs> that he kind of ignores me at times. That sounds all right. 100%. I yeah. just don't know. <coughs> but, yeah. Okay. I also um, got to open up. Uh, I also need to open up. Uh, what's it called? The dock? The, uh, no, no, not the dock. The uh, chat so I can see it too. Yeah, I, I am so here. behind. We really don't have much of a show planned today, so like you know, we just gotta, we just gotta but, wing but it. We, we know, gotta wing it, guys. This is gonna yeah, wing we it. Are, yeah, we are gonna wing it because good news, there is still stuff to talk about, and we do have a topic of the show. Hey guys, guess what? Good news. What good good news? I, I did the. They put bugs in them. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you know, can can they hear it? They, they can I, hear I, it. I, I believe they can hear it. 
I don't think you can hear it for some reason. Uh, uh, you know what? We'll also find out, too. Uh, <laughs> if, uh, 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 the, the, God, what's it called? The audio portion of the podcast, if they can hear it. Because if they can't... And oh, this, fuck. I forgot all about that. I should stop putting that blame. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's really not copyright. I mean, it's, really it's not, not but like, yeah, I really shouldn't be putting that in the middle of a podcast. You didn't hear it either? What the fuck? Yeah, oh, so guess what? It's just silence. Why do I just hear it? What is happening? Stream fucking labs, whatever this thing is called, sucks. Nah, I think you just, you're, you're just inexperienced with it. No, because I did exactly what Mike told me to do, and I can hear it, and you can hear it in the other Discord, but why does it not work? Let's see something. Well, we, we did make oh, some yeah, changes. Stopped. Oh, is it, not, is it not even open for it yet? No, it's not. Oh, fuck. I'm stupid, guys. I forgot I changed everything. Okay, this is why. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna take this over from the top one time. <laughs> oh, my God. I just realized why it didn't do it. I think this is it. I think, I think that works. I think that works. Mickey! It's Riku. Oh. They put bugs in him. What? I heard that. <laughs> you I think we got it now. Okay, I fixed I it. I forgot to put the waves. I forgot to put the, the output correctly again on the yeah. stream deck. We also got we yeah. also got this gem, guys. The fire rises. Yep. We're becoming top-notch streamers over here, doggy dog. <laughs> yeah. Yes, we are. I got a Honestly, soundboard. <laughs> Honestly, we need to, instead of doing, like, the actual uh, Dark Knight Rises, we got to do it with your voice. I mean, I was thinking about that, but I didn't feel like putting up Audacity to record that real quick. <laughs> you know what? Go ahead. Just do it now. No, I'm not doing it right now. Continue the oh, podcast. <laughs> well, we can do the podcast, too, but I can also cut it out later in the podcast. I can just do that by myself. <laughs> yeah, you could. It would take all of two seconds. Okay, uh, where the fuck yep. did the doc go again? Okay, here it is. I got it. I got the doc yeah. up, guys. Hey, guys, remember, there's a doc. M not much of a doc, there's but we got a doc. It's not going to be a great show today. Got well, I'm going to make it a great show. I got some energy. You know, my fatigue yeah. is starting to go away. Mm -hmm. You know, it's nice. So, no, you will see. Is that all you played, Rob? Because, like I said, I didn't play jack shit. I don't think y I played Yeah, I really did not play that much. But I, I, I can get into our first news topic. Our Amazon lose topic of the week. No, we, we I, gotta get that. We gotta get that horn, like you know that. -na 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 -na. I mean, we could do that real quick. I I, I didn't put the link to uh, the Amazon Luna topic because it came straight from their Twitter itself, ladies and gentlemen, and everybody else around the world. Guess what? Amazon Luna wants to rate your dogs. This is from the Amazon Luna Twitter. Just send them the game dogs that you find on Amazon Luna. That's it. That is absolutely it. That's the only real news that came out of the last week that's not, hey, come ahead, be a part of our beta. Or, hey, thank you for being part of the beta. Okay, I'm going to mute myself real quick. Keep All right. So uh, as he does what he's doing, I'll get into the next news topic, which uh, Ant here actually uh, gave me the information on this. So for those here in the U.S., you can buy the Stadia Premier Edition for uh, $59 U.S., which is available ahead of the FIFA 21. So what that includes is not only a Stadia controller, but you also get a Chromecast Ultra along with it as well. And then I believe if you get it from Best Buy, apparently you get three months of YouTube premium. Mm -hmm. I don't know how true that is, but I heard that on the Twitters. Yep. Well, you know what? I do have it here in the news article. We can figure that out. Until the new Chromecast um, support, the Ultra is the only way they officially do it. And it, because this is all a part of ahead of FIFA 21 coming to Stadia, which honestly, I I really want this to take off like these sports games. And also, we we know it, we know we know it, and he I know Ant won't go into it too much, but they need crossplay. For all the yeah yeah hopefully yeah. hopefully they they work on that especially like sports games I think will benefit greatly from that. But because um, yeah, everybody just wants to play with their friends, let yeah. them play with your friends, EA. Let us let me play with my friends. These fucking Sony ponies I hang out with yeah, all the goddamn time. I, we we have to spend five hundred plus dollars to play to games with these friends. fucking nerds. Yes, bullshit. And so, secondly, why can't we have a next gen version of a game on PC? No, 
I mean, I mean, streaming services aside, streaming services are also just a PC. But I mean, why can we not get a next gen version? I mean, maybe uh, maybe they're working on. I don't know what's happening with that. I hope but... so. Because oh, you're talking about just the PC version, not just the streaming version, like PC in general. Yeah, no, yeah, not just the streaming version, but yeah, just a, like a PC version of the game. Why can't we get a next gen version of it? Yeah, I don't like, know what. Why is fuck? that exclusive to console? I don't know what EA was thinking with that one because that made no sense. Okay, yeah, there's like no cross, like no even no cross generation play. Hey, guess what? Yeah. <laughs> Yes. Yes. <laughs> All right. Let's let's take it from the talk, ladies and gentlemen. We got that Amazon Luna news. <laughs> <laughs> you also got to get crickets. Way so when you too like, much. Why does it keep going? What is happening? Oh, the YouTube video is also playing behind it, and I stole it from. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it still going? Yeah, that works. But yeah. But yeah, honestly, if, if you wanted to get into Stadia and you want the best experience, 60 bucks, that's a whole new game. And yeah, you do get like a month of Stadia Pro. Or is it or is it seven days? Because I know you get at least 30 minutes of you to try the service for free without a credit card. Yep. Well, you get 30 minutes without a credit card. 30 minutes. You get 30 days yeah, with a credit card. Yeah. And yeah, like that's a, a great way to really, really see this out and fully see what is so special about this controller and why it's great for cloud gaming. But with that, uh, we got a, a different news topic of the former Stadia chief, Jade Raymond, is making a new game for PlayStation. So Jane Raymond is uh, used to be a part of uh, the uh, Stadia, Stadia Games and Entertainment yep. uh, div uh, division. But uh, with Stadia announcing that, uh, what, about a month ago now that they're closing the studio. February 1st, I believe? Yep. So over yeah, a so month. Over a mo so, uh, you yeah. know what, Rob? I was hoping you were going to put this in the doc, right? Because I got some fucking hot takes. You ready for these hot takes, doggy dog? All right, let's get the hot <laughs> takes. We got some hot takes. Um, <laughs> Jane Raymond makes mediocre games. I fucking said it. Everyone's on her dick costly. She makes mediocre ass games. She has two really good games in her portfolio, and that is fucking it. All right, what are those two games? Well, one I never played, so one I did play. So one, people just love Splinter so Cell Blacklist. Never played it, but people love it. Mm -hmm. So I cannot really speak to that. And Assassin's Creed 2. Other than that, all the other ones are okay. They're not like bad games by any stretch of imagination, except for Sims Online. Sims Online, Trash Fire. Um, yeah. But like, Jay Raymond, mediocre games. So I don't know why people are excited. So you know, we'll they see. Maybe, they want and it also, also another thing. She hasn't shipped a game since 2015. All her projects have been canceled. And you know what? In my opinion, that kind of speaks more to her ability to do her job than anything. Because why does honestly, all your games get canceled? <laughs> honestly, this is similar to like the Gilmero Del Toro game. Where like, like, he's been trying to like make these like horror style games for the longest time. Uh -huh. The closest he's ever gotten to being a part of a, a video game is Death Stranding. And really, he's more of just like a, a character. Yeah, he's just a person in the game. But yeah, we he, will see. It, I hope she pulls it through. But I don't. Be honest yeah. with her track record does not show that that might not happen. Yeah. Because Watch Dogs uh, yeah. One, no matter how much I liked Watch Dogs One, like I did enjoy Watch Dogs One. I wouldn't call it like a great game by any stretch of imagination. Um, mm -hmm. very mediocre. Assassin's Creed One, very mediocre. I'm trying to think what else she made. I think she did um, one of those side-scrolling Assassin's Creed games. Not a good game. Are you looking it up? Mm -hmm. uh, I, I'm, I am, but also still also trying to add on to our... Uh... Oh, you're still doing work? <laughs> yeah, I'm still trying to add to our... Okay. All right, you know what? I'm just using this one. But yeah, I, I will say she did make this statement uh, after she said she was making uh, new games for PlayStation. We want to create worlds where players can escape, have fun, express themselves, and find community, she wrote. We want to pour our passion into a project where we... Oh, we want to pour our hearts into a passion. A passion into a project. We want to make something wondrous for people to experience. Because we believe in the power of games to bring <coughs> joy to people's lives. And Sony does too. Their commitment to excellence is unmatched. It's why I couldn't be happier for their backing and support. Um... Okay, so I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. 
that's the most generic PR statement I've ever heard in my life. It's we don't know what exactly we're doing or Yeah, we uh, don't know what we're doing, guys, but we're gonna do it. Like that's what that tells me. <laughs> okay. Um, do you have anything else to add besides my hot takes about Jade Raymond and her mediocre game she makes? And I don't know, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna piss I, a lot of people off. Like we're we're losing viewers already because I said that. Yep. Yeah. Uh, honestly, uh, not all of my views are, are uh, respective from. I do want to see what she makes, and I hope that PlayStation doesn't cancel any of them. I mean, somebody has to have the hot takes in the show. You know what? That guy's uh, honestly, if if Skull and Bones can come to light, so can her game. I mean, the last six years is otherwise, but you know, that's just me. That's just me. That's all I'm saying. That's <laughs> also, we also it's not confirmed yet that it uh, Skull and Bones is really even coming, up, out. coming anywhere. <laughs> like it's a game. Mm. Okay, where did I put the dock at? I keep switching things around. Yeah, I'll go ahead and let you take off the next uh, take the next topic as I had a couple more news topics into uh, our dock. I'm trying to find it. It just Press. disappeared on me. I think I exited it out by accident. You you did. I, I see that you're no longer viewing this. Okay, where do we leave? But Stadia change log. Stadia Krita? change log. Kria starts alien conspiracy. 9 to 5 Google. You didn't put who wrote it. Uh, um, Kyle Bradshaw. Kyle Bradshaw, the same guy who writes all the Stadia news. It seems like no, no. Sometimes there's Ben Shun. Uh, there's ben actually Shun. three yeah. people who write Stadia news. Gotcha. It's only three people in the world. Um, yeah. Let me available this week. I, I, the first I'm battle gonna... pass for Crater. Is that how you pronounce it? Okay. Uh, really fast. I, I want to make the correction. It was not Kyle Bradshaw. Fucking it was uh, Ben Shun. You're fucking taking away my credibility as a journalist here. As someone who reads uh, other hey. people's news live on Twitch, you're fucking up my credibility, um, Robert. It, it, don't don't worry. I'm the one who gave you that information. That's all on me. <laughs> okay. Available this week, the first battle pass for Krata, Alien Conspiracy. Has arrived. It brings with it two new packs mentioned previously, as well as a host of new cosmetic items. Like Battle Pass's other games, Alien Conspiracy in Krata sees players ranking through 100 levels to unlock items and gain XP. Notably, a lot of the items are ones used in game creation. You can buy the Battle Pass on its own for $9.99 if you've already bought the game. Oh, Ooh. and then second thing... Google wasn't shy about what? No, that's not really. Do you have any things to add into the creative thing? I have not played this. I booted this game up one time because yeah. I saw it was free. Uh, uh, honestly, also have not done anything with the game. I, I see it's. I see it's there. Like there's a lot of creative new every week. It seems like every week there's something with this game that's happening. They gave yeah. you. They gave me the premiere edition for free with a whole bunch of in-game fun bucks, and I just haven't haven't touched it. Oh yeah, I haven't either. I think I might have actually threw away the code. You had a code. Well, I don't know. I th I threw away the box. I took out the Chromecast. And there was no code in there. You just went to the store. It was like limited time. Oh. Yeah, it was just like a limited okay. time thing where it was just free. The $30 version was just free on the store. And I was like, okay, I'll take that. Sure, it's free. Yeah, uh, I did not do that. No, oh, okay. Well, I think it's still free to play. You just don't get all the fun it, it bucks. It is. Yeah, I don't have the fun bucks. You know what, guys? I'm going to make a promise to you. Is this an empty promise that I'm probably not going to do? Possibly. Uh, but I'm gonna I'm make an attempt to try to play it. See what's going on in that game. I say that every weekend. I say I'm gonna try something else and I get super busy because things. But we'll see. Um, second topic of the Stadia Chase Log. Google wasn't shy about seeing new, announcing new games for Stadia this week. The company confirmed the launch of Terraria is set for March 18th. That's in two days. The same day as the Snyder Cut, release the Snyder Cut. Yep. Comes out. Um,. A day, a, day, a day after FIFA 21 makes a debut, so that's the 19th. That's the day Falcon and Winter Soldier comes out, so, you know, there's another one. Um, and beyond that, Blue Fire and Tri Tri what is that, Trin 4? Is that how I pronounce that? Trine. Trine 4 were also both confirmed without firm dates. You fucking missed that, Rob. You fucking fake doc maker. You know what you missed today? You know what? what you know what Stadia oh, shadow drops? You know why? You know what? You know, I do know what they shadow drop. Ladies and gentlemen, released today is Dragon Quest Eleven. You fucking piece of shit. <laughs> He's taking my spotlight. <laughs> yeah, no. No, I watched friend of the show, John Scar, play the game. No, I saw him on Twitter. He's like, I'm playing this on Stadia. I was like, wait, hold the fuck up. Where did this come to Stadia? He's like, like an hour ago. He's like, they announced yeah. it and it just came out with it. And I was like, oh, fuck. 
Too bad it's not on Stadia because I own that game on Xbox and I own that game on Switch. I don't really want to buy it again because I have yet to beat the game on either console. So yep. if it was on, if it was on Pro, I would buy it. But like I don't know if I'm actually gonna buy this game. Yeah. Yeah, I mean it's thirty bucks. It is in fact thirty bucks. We also have there also are some pretty good sales. Um, we should have talked about that during the, the, um, the Stadia, Stadia controller part, but like the Stadia whatever you call it. Yep. Sales, but I know they have a lot, a lot of Ubisoft games on sale again, as well as, and I'm going from memory, I'm not looking anything up when I looked at it, Fallen Order, Jedi Fallen Order is on sale for 20 US, um, mm-hmm. you know, something else too, I don't remember, but yeah, there's a lot of, sta- a lot of Stadia games on sale, so if you know you want to give Stadia a shot, you know, just go buy a game for 20 bucks and, you know, check it out, or try the free 30 minute trial. And then play some Stadia Pro games. Um, yep. I just had a brain fart. I was looking up. Oh, uh, you were looking the up sale. the different sales. I was looking up the sales, Stadia. yeah. The thing I was just talking about. Yep, I'm also putting in the doc uh, some other Game Pass news. For yeah, so if, if somebody somebody in the chat wants to you know, send me $31.99 US so I can buy Dragon Quest and not play it again, you're more than welcome to. Uh, they got hey, Final Fantasy hey, hey, 15. But I heard that game not real well on Amazon, on Luna. I mean, on um, Stadia. But this is when it launched. I don't know if it improved or got any yeah, better. But I'm I heard there's sure a lot of issues made with some it. Improvement. Um, they got a whole bunch of Assassin's Creed games on sale. Borderlands. I can't see the prices because I bought the games already. You got yeah. Cake Bash, thirteen ninety nine. Don't know what game that is. Sounds like a party game. And Destroy All Humans for thirty dollars. And yeah, then Get Packed, thirteen ninety nine. You know what, Rob? I think I'm gonna buy that tomorrow. That works. Do we want to play some yeah, Get Packed? I can't wait for you to get them buy them bucks. Yeah, when I get them buy them bucks tomorrow, I think I'm, I'm thinking about buy Get Packed. Is there any, anything yeah. else good up here? I'm looking. I'm looking. There's a whole fucking lot of games up here on sale this week. Yeah, yeah, there is. There is quite a few games. Oh, and Division Two, really Division Two, Warlords of New York, seventeen dollars. Yeah. But yeah, like if you want to do that, I also recommend just doing the uh, the Ubisoft Plus. Yes, because that's how I have it. Well, no, Danielle bought it. I bought it on Danielle's account, did family sharing, but then I have Ubisoft Plus also. Yep. No, I, I believe you and I actually also bought Division 2 with uh, when it was on sale for like 10 bucks or something. No, I, what I, okay, so I did not buy it. What I did was I made Danielle make a Stadia account, got her $10 coupon, and then bought it. Okay. So then we did the family sharing thing, so I still have access to it. Nice. That works. Watch Dog Legions, 20 bucks. Go buy it. Yeah. Multiplayer, definitely. real fun. 20 bucks? Real fun with I'll friends. say it's worth it. I'll say it's worth it for 20 bucks. Yeah. It is definitely a $20 game. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all um, right. Uh, do we have anything else we want to talk about with uh, different Stadia sales? I do not. That was it. Yep. So with that, we are now reaching the Xbox Game Pass part of the show. This show sponsored by no one because we don't have sponsors yet. <laughs> But, uh, you know, one of these days, I'll, I'll just make one up. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, did you say... Oh, one more thing we can bring up is NBA 2K21 is free all weekend with Stadia Pro. Oh, yeah, it is. That, I've seen that. I've seen that. I've seen that. Should we Some give it a try? I really don't want to. Yeah. I mean, I'll, I'll try it with you. I mean, we don't got to download it, so that goes by fast. Yeah, it, we don't have to download it, and I'm pretty sure you and I have, probably have the same experience in the game. Probably. Yeah. So it might be an even playing field versus us playing against Kyle and... Uh, Everybody's golf. Yeah. But okay. with that. I'm looking for the dock again. Here it goes. I found it. So mm-hmm. now we are on the. But all the Xbox news. All the Game Pass news. Well, yeah, why don't you start there, that up? quite Rob? a bit. Why don't you start that up? Yep. Yep. So I, I went ahead for our dock. Normally I would just copy and paste uh, like all the games, like titles and their little descriptions. I just posted the picture that they put on social media. <laughs> To just tell us everything. <laughs> and let's start with Bethesda. So this last Friday, they added 20 games. Well, they now have 20 Bethesda games available now in Game Pass. <laughs> Those games are, but not limited to, Dishonored, Dishonored 2, Doom, like the original 1993 Doom, uh, Doom 2, Doom 64, Doom 3. Not Doom 3 BFG edition. So the original one where the Flashlight and the gun are separate. Oh, did they Doom fix Eternal. that in BFG edition? Fa- 
There is a BFG edition. No, I'm saying, did they fix like, that in BFG? Because I never played BFG. I played the original one. No, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I only played the original two. And no, that no. was actually one of the changes they made for the BFG edition. Okay. So, Doom Eternal. Um, Fallout New Vegas. Fallout 4. Fallout 76. Prey. Rage 2. Morrowind. Oblivion. Skyrim. Elder Scrolls Online. The Evil Within. Wolfenstein. Uh, the New Order. Wolfenstein the Old Blood. Wolfenstein Young Blood. Boy, 20 amazing games now available on the service. Like Rage 2. And most of those are on streaming as well. That's why we talked about yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, the only ones that really aren't are the ones that are. Uh, uh, the ones that were released during like the 360 era, such as like Oblivion, Oblivion and Morrowind. So, so guys, I just, I just want to say, I'm sorry to cut you off, Rob. I just want to say something. I w technically, technically, technically speaking, I won, and I want everyone to know this, and I'm gonna do this. It didn't work. Okay, no, that's covering up his poster. That's what that was. Um, so I won. You no longer have to buy Skyrim. Don't buy Skyrim. You don't need to buy Skyrim anymore. I win. I would like may, that to be noted may, in this episode. May I, may I bring up something? You say that it's not, it is not a free game because you still have to pay for the service. I mean, but you're not paying for Skyrim. You're paying for the service, so you don't have to pay for Skyrim. My thing but is, a part, don't, but a part of that, a part of that price is towards Skyrim. Even I mean, it's, it, I mean, it's really not though because they paid seven point four billion dollars for Skyrim. So, so like, they point, paid money for it. <laughs> They bought, all, for Skyrim. they bought one. all the money for Skyrim. They spent all the money for Skyrim alone. So yeah, we, Skyrim. the people, they, they don't just wanted Skyrim. have to buy it. And you know what? Good job, Microsoft. Stop telling people to stop getting people to buy Skyrim. We don't need an Xbox Series X version. We don't need a PS5 version. The game's fine. It's buggy as hell. Stop playing it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, uh, do not listen to this man. This man knows not what he talks about. Uh, you are you are still buying Skyrim technically as a part of Game Pass, even if it's think, just uh, pennies out of the overall cost because of everything else you're getting with it. I don't think you're buying Skyrim. You're still paying a price, but now you're paying monthly for it. How does that sound? I don't, I don't think you're, you're, pay, you're paying monthly for Skyrim. I don't think you're buying it. You know what I have to say to that? Mickey, it's Riku. They put bugs in him. What? They put bugs in you. <laughs> It, this is this is a fun episode. <laughs> yeah, you, you, I, I love how you got your soundboard all set up and ready. <laughs> but yeah, honestly, every single one of these games are fantastic. And if you haven't got Game Pass before, get it now. There's there's unless you ha unless you have an iPhone and you don't have an Android phone. Get an Android phone. What are you doing? Yeah, well, get an Android phone. There's there's nothing stopping you. It's like 30 bucks down the street. You can get an Amazon Fire tablet and install it that way. But yeah, like, really, you're getting a value of a game. Like, each of these games, I would say, are worth either full price or me even, like, 50% off. Of, of, like, MSRP of, like, 60 or whatnot. And, and with that, for 15 bucks a month, for you to play it on both your consoles, your mobile phone, and PC... Like, um, there's nothing. So we got some breaking news. This isn't cloud-related, but I just want to read this headline for you. This is okay. 51 minutes ago from Screen Rant. Olivia Harris wrote this. Blizzard fires dozen employees and pays them in Battle.net gift cards. <laughs> how, how, how serious is this? <laughs> Apparently they okay. fired 50 people as they're getting away from live events. Um, yeah, uh, Bloomberg posted this uh, six hours ago. Oh, did they? Yeah, screen, for, uh, screen. from your favorite person, Jason Schreier. Oh, fuck that dude, bro. He's the fucking worst. He blocked me on Twitter. You know that? Activision you know that Blizzard guy? Incorporated fired dozens of people on Tuesday across various departments, including 50 employees who handled esports programming and other live events. The dismissal affects less than 2% of the total workforce of fewer than 190 employees. Said a person with knowledge of the matter who are not to be identified because of the number is in public. Also among the cuts were employees at King.com, the makers of Candy Crush. Uh, players are increasingly choosing to receive a minimum of 90 day severance and health benefits for a year, as well as job transition support. The spokesman said they were also given $200 gift cards to Battle.net, the uh, Blizzard online game service. So it's, they were given also a severance on top of the gift cards. $200 though of gift cards to each person. 
Hope, hopefully, ho hopefully it was two hundred dollars for gift cards and not five dollars gift cards. Or, or yeah, what would it be? Four bucks <coughs> <laughs> to each person. What so, up, yeah. Chris? Chris is in the chat. Yep. Calling us nerds. You know what? We're addictive, though. We're those addictive nerds. You're here. Um, you can't get away. I think he's streaming but right yeah. now. He should be paying attention to a stream, but I don't know what he's doing. Yeah, that's um, perfectly fine. But continue. Yeah. I'm just looking stuff up. But yeah. The Bethesda games, give them a try. Please. There's nothing stopping you. But on top of that, if, if you're not a Bethesda fan, which I'm sorry, um... We don't accept hate speech here. But if you are a fan of Bethesda, or at least tolerate them. You mean Blizzard? Yep. What are we talking no, about? No, no, no. I'm, I'm still the... talking, about Bethesda, I'm talking about Bethesda really fast before I transition. But Wait, I'm confused. If, if you... We jump a topic too much. What are we... <laughs> I'm transitioning <laughs> are we doing with the Game Pass stuff? A... Yeah, we're still doing the Game Pass stuff. Okay. <laughs> Just making sure but I'm, go I'm doing. going away from the Bethesda Game Pass stuff to the other Game Pass stuff for those who... Don't fully want to play the Bethesda games. Yeah, hashtag don't and buy Skyrim. Is, and that is what's coming soon to the second half of March. And ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves another lineup of games. We got Outriders. We got Undertale. We got Yakuza 6, The Song of Life, Game of the Year, uh, Narita Boy, Empire of Sin, Squadrons, Octopath Traveler, Genesis Noir, Near Autonoma, uh, whatever, what's underneath it, Torchlight 3, Dead Fire, and Supperland. Now, five, the first five games I said of Outriders, Undertale, Yakuza, Narita Boy, and Empire of Sin, those are all coming to xCloud, which is fantastic. Man, and I really, like, I, I was hoping, I was hoping Squadrons would come to xCloud. I would love to, you know, pilot a X-Wing on my phone in my car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or off a tablet. Yeah. Real, real good time. But that never happened. Yeah, EA doesn't believe in the cloud. I don't know that's true because we just said Fallen Order was on xCloud. And also there's <clears> quite <throat> a few games on EA Play on uh, xCloud as well. But yeah. You know why? You know why it's not on there? Squadron supports crossplay. I mean, what does that do with anything? Simple. They don't believe in crossplay. Oh, EA doesn't believe in crossplay. Gotcha. Yeah, I gotcha. That joke with EA. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, yep. so yeah, they are fucking killing it. But I guess that leads to our topic of the show that we're going to talk about for like 10, 15 minutes before we because, call it Because, yeah, a night. like, I'm going to tell you though, I'm going to be playing Nier Autonomy. I've not played that game yet. I know I, that there's an achievement to look up the skirt, I think. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to play some Octopath Traveler where they just fucking shadow drop that game. Yeah. Switch and exclusive. Like, this this said, is the announcement. This is how they announced it. Octopath Traveler is coming to Game Pass. Like, that's no, no, more than that. <laughs> More than that, it's coming to Xbox. It, it yeah, that's how that's how they announced it's coming to Xbox and PC. What, what was it already on PC? It was, I believe, it was already on PC. Uh huh. But it wasn't on Xbox. Yeah. But what better way to announce it than saying, "Hey, just get it with Game Pass." Yeah, it's coming to Game Pass, we, guys. We know you really don't want to spend it, uh, spend money again to buy it for a fifth time. So why not just go ahead and just, just get it on Game Pass? Still play it though. It's still an amazing game. And yeah, you know what? I will. Like it is a beautiful, uh, kind of, what 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 kind of style is it? Is it where it's like that a bit like depth of field at the top? Oh, I don't know. I don't know what that's called. I'm not good with the words, guys. You know this. Yeah, same here. <coughs> but yeah, I really do believe. Yeah, do give Game Pass a shot. Like these XL games, especially Outriders. Like this game coming out April first, actually. Mm hmm. Uh, yeah, I believe it is April 1st, because we did talk about it, of it also being cross-play with all the services. Because, yeah, like, just just get it on, uh, just get Game Pass. It's honestly the best way this game is going to survive. I don't know if I would actually pay 60 bucks to fully play this game, mm -hmm. but it being on xCloud and just on Game Pass in general, more people are going to play this game, more people are going to spend time in this game, and, like, more people are can actually meet up with friend yeah and like yeah there's no other way to say it like this month of game pass is great for the service and one of the reasons why it's a great service and like why it's one of the best and why we rated it the same as uh 
Stadia in terms of it being the best cloud gaming service on the market right now. Mm -hmm. But even though it's one of the best, that doesn't mean it can't improve. And that brings us to the topic of the show. Top of the show. Yeah, I did it. Oh, come on. <laughs> we, need, we need more energy. Where's that energy? Come on. That's all Say it again, but with meeting. Oh, hold on. I'm clicking buttons. I'm clicking buttons. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. The fire rises. Yes, it does. The fire does rise. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, this topic of the show. This episode's a wash. <laughs> It's just, oh, it's, it's just nonsense. It's just nonsense. It is. It, this is nonsense. This is what happens when you get get some of this stuff. Uh, they would okay. expect it from me, but you, oh, you're you're making this. I'm I'm not gonna oh. lie though. Having all these buttons up here, I kind of want to go buy the the bigger stream deck. Yeah, it's worth it. The only bucks. problem is I don't know what to do with this one. I might give this to Chris or or Danielle. I mean, Danielle doesn't have a computer, so she doesn't need a stream deck. Oh. Get her a computer. What's wrong with you? Why? I did, and she used it twice. When so I where built... is that computer? Um, that computer, I threw it away. So look, here's here's the thing. Here's the thing. I'm gonna explain this to you. Why I threw this away? You're gonna you're gonna be like, okay, I get it. So when I built my first Ryzen computer, so I had my Ryzen 1600. I spent all my money on that, my GPU and all that shit. Danielle plays two games. Right? She plays Minecraft. And then she plays Neopets. <laughs> like, Danielle will still log in her Neopets account to this day and check on her pets. They're still alive, apparently. Mm -hmm. um, so, what I did was, I went on Amazon and I bought Bulldozer CPUs. And that's what I gave her. Honestly, that still be a decent one for just I mean, streaming. It wasn't, As because it was, it was the, the quad-core one. <laughs> that wasn't really quad-core. Yeah, it was a I think it was the 4400 something. Was that it? Probably. I'm going to start talking about the topic of the show. Now I'm really, I'm, this is bugging me. So I'm going to go into my Amazon account and then go back to 2015 or whatever it was when I bought this. I don't it, think it, it was it, that late. Honestly, don't worry about it because we're going to talk about how to improve Game Pass as a streaming service. Because everybody is giving Game Pass a lot of credit. Everybody loves Game Pass. FX But that doesn't mean the thing. Yep. But that doesn't that doesn't mean we can't improve on the things we love. And Ann and I are here today to give a couple of kind of pointers to help guide it in the right direction for its future as a streaming service. Slash game service and, thing. Yep. But I think the first and foremost, it needs to be on more platforms. It's working on that. But, like, it needs to be on everything. I mean, does it... You can't... Does it need to be on everything? For, for more people to be a part of it, yes. No, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure eventually it will. I, I, don't, I don't think yeah. it'll be on everything, but I'm pretty sure they'll get... I'm pretty sure they're going to work on, like, an app for, like, TVs. Mm -hmm. um, and then they're going to probably come out with a streaming stick and then put it on iDevices. But I don't think it will be on everything. Like, I don't think they're going to put it on Apple TVs. But I'm pretty sure they'll put it on like phones through the browser. The only reason why I say Apple TV is I don't think Apple TVs has a browser. Yeah. yeah. I think that is the issue. Because you know Apple's not gonna let them put this store on the, the thing. So like it would have to be in a browser based how function. How to surf the web and uh, how to surf the web with uh, Safari on Apple TV. Oh uh, you can yeah, you know, use AirPlay. Yeah, so it's like it's not really a easy yeah. thing to do. Uh, you can mirror your display on your computer using the Air browser on your iPhone. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Oh, actually. All right. Uh, Air browser might actually be the closest thing to it. Um. Uh, using TV OS browser to surf the web on. Uh, essentially gives you a web browser. You'll need to have an Apple developer account. Yeah. Xcode and USB-C. So yeah, that one's a lot more work. All right, so yeah, it's possible, but not not the best thing in the world, Un unless they can release just a internet browser or something. Yeah. Honestly, if they can get a Chromium browser, well, they won't. But if never gonna do that, or or even add Safari or whatnot to it, and being able to allow a keyboard and mouse, that would yeah. be fantastic. 
Okay, I'm pretty so... Sure some, oh, continue, some, I'm sorry. Some people could even use it as, like, a little computer as well. Uh-huh. Com, uh, connect your, like, magic keyboard and mouse. There you go. Who needs a Mac Mini when you got an Apple TV? They probably have the same but, specs. Got him! That was an Apple joke. I need yep. Sal to record a got him for me, so I can put that on my soundboard. Sal yep. does a got him real good. I, I, I can just hear it go, g -g 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 got him! Um... But yeah, I'm be honest with you, Rob. I don't know how they can improve Game Pass, honestly, because I think that fucking service is a must-have. Like it is I, a must have. when I pay the fifteen dollars a month, I give no qualms about it. Like I don't, I feel like get my value out of it. Like I mean, I guess they can put more stuff on streaming, but they have been doing that. Like half yeah. the Bethesda games are up there. Half the games they announced today are up there. So they are adding stuff. I know a lot of people are complaining about the um they they don't really show a lot of love to the PC side of it. Um but I think like the PC Game Pass is a different beast. Like it's not Um uh, what happened? Did I fuck that up or did you fuck that up? Yeah, you did. You moved the topic of the show. There it goes. I fixed it. There we go. Control Z. Um Yep. I know a lot of people were complaining that the PC Game Pass they feel is like a second class citizen, but I would I would say that the PC Game Pass is more tailor tailored to people who play certain games on PC. Like there's a lot of strategy yep. games up there. There's a lot of PC centric games up there. They don't really put a lot of console ports up there as much, and so that's just first party games. But the reason why they can do that is because it's in like the uni the Windows unified platform, whatever it's called. So it gets easy. A to port universe, that over. a universal Windows uh, platform. Yeah. So I know that's like a, probably another reason why, um, because they they do lock the PC Game Pass through the Microsoft Store on Windows, which yeah. is probably the reason why EA Play has yet to come to PC Game Pass, because Microsoft seems to mm -hmm. want to put everything through the Windows Store, but half of these games aren't available on Windows Store. Um. Yeah. So, who knows? But I think I think the PC version's fine. Like I said, streaming for a while, I would say I wish they would add a little bit more like high profile games. But it, as you know, they're doing it. They're, they're going to play some. Sure. I'm going to play some Outriders on the cloud. I was going to get it on Stadia, but you know, I'll just play it on XCloud now. I'll try that yeah. out. We'll talk about that after April first. I think we have an episode April second. No, uh, first no, episode no. is April sixth. So we'll have a few days to talk about it. Yeah, first episode is April sixth. But Rob, Rob, you know what episode we do have, right? And what we and have an episode that? on 420, guys. Get ready for that one. That's gonna be an extravaganza. It's not. Oh, don't, we do. don't don't hype yourself up over what I'm saying. That's don't, not don't, don't, that is a part of a different podcast we're doing. <laughs> oh wait, hold up. No, you said 420. No, yeah, you're right. Yeah, 420. <laughs> That's on Tuesday. Well, <laughs> all right. You know what? We, we we need to get. I gotta make a theme for that. For I mean, for uh, one we time. don't we don't oh, really need oh, to make a theme for that episode. <laughs> I mean, we have to for like podcast reasons um, and uh, for people to watch. It's like it's it's a, it's a holiday. I mean, is it a holiday? But okay. Um, do you have any other things about uh, how you think they should approve it? Like we both say honestly, the same thing. Like I said, the streaming has getting better. Has been getting better. Yeah. Honestly, the more platforms, so you can have more devices to actually play said game on. Yeah. Um, the ability to um, God, what's Higher resolutions. Yeah, they do. They do which need they that. Which they are 100%, adding. Yeah. Are they going to 1080? I mean, when are they doing 1080? Yeah. Uh, when it comes to PC. Oh, okay. When's it coming to PC? Soon. When soon? Yeah. Next year. Yeah. 2022. Yeah. yeah, 2022. Part of spring 2021. Anyways. Uh, but, yeah. Oh, let's see. Uh, other th it really... The main thing is more platforms. Honestly, I I would love adjustable bit rate. Mm -hmm. I would love to be able to like say, hey, I want to play at a higher bit rate, but only at 1080p. Here here's the like, thing with that though, Rob. So yeah. I understand that for like us people who understand bit rate. Yeah, but, but I think like, what they're go going like, for. I guess you can set it to auto, but I think yep. adding the bit rate I think would just confuse a lot of people. No, no, they they, they did the same thing with console streaming and what they did from the Xbox One to Windows 10, which is. Low, medium, high, very high. Where you can... Uh, that's how you adjust the bitrate. Still at 1080p. But uh, it's just at different resolutions. Or yeah. at least different bitrates to make it clear. Less blocky. And that's what they can do here with Game Pass. Like, I would love to go... Like, pull down a little side menu of... Uh, quality of, like, low, medium, high, very high. That would... 
honestly, for me, improved the service immensely. Because then it also doesn't have to automatically adjust. Like, you can have it set to auto. But, like, I want to... Let's say I don't have, like, 50 megabits all the time. Or 30 megabits all the time. Like, I can do, like, 10 or 15, depending on where I am, I'm at. Like, underneath some trees in the forest. Or, like, using the Xfinity Wi-Fi guest network. The Wi-Fi hotspots off, like, some Xfinity customers' uh, routers. Like... Like, these are the things that would make the service itself nicer to use. Of, I want to be able to change what quality I'm streaming at. Versus it just being whatever automatically comes to your device. Because, yeah, sometimes that will cause a lot of quality issues as well. Especially when I was playing, like, Dragon Quest XI on, on my phone in the bedroom. It, it told me, like, the 2.4 and the 5 gigahertz. Mm-hmm. Like... It's artifacting is completely different than other streaming services. And the I would love for it to like say, all right, you know what? I want to just set it to 20 megabits or like a medium. Well, technically 20, I think would be really high. Um, I think, yeah, like setting it to 10 or whatnot would be fantastic. Or like, like having like a, that low, medium, high. Um, other things, other features like that could also be added is a better way to join your friend. Like when I'm getting an invite on my phone, like I want to like be able to go to the invite Mm -hmm. and go, all right, do I want to play this on Xbox? Open it up on Xbox or do I want to open it through game pass here on the phone? Oh, okay. I got you. I was kind of lost for a second. I was like, what do you mean? I never tried to, to join anybody on game pass on the X cloud. Yeah. Like I I want the ability to like, if the game is on game pass. Yeah. Like you have an option of, when I go to the invite of joining from the Xbox or joining it from uh, my phone. Mm-hmm. And like, honestly, those quality of life improvements could go a long ways. And who knows, we'll find a better way of them to like find, I guess, better find games. But I mean, like they're doing a really good job with that too. Just putting them up in different categories and like you can view them all. Have them split by what's Bethesda, what's EA Play. Yeah. They're, they're doing a really good job with that, like I'm, too. I'm also, I'm trying to think of what else. What else? Oh, I don't know. Commercials are playing. I'm trying to think what else have, like, I want it. And I don't. What, what are some features we love about CD? Like, honestly, State Share. State Share is, is cool. Like, I don't really think that's, like, a killer, a killer feature right now. Because not a lot of games. Even use it. I well, think it's like user. two games. Two games user right now? Yeah. Um, yeah. Only only two games user right now. So it's like... I I would say it would be cool if you can stream from the phone, but you can probably do that anyway. I'm probably pretty sure there's a way to do it. There's no native way to do it from the app. Like stream the game to like Twitch or something. Since like, you know, Mixer is dead RIP. Oh, yeah. Um, like, yeah. Like, yeah, having ability to... Like, yeah, ha- yeah like, like you said, yeah, have that streaming feature of, hey, let me go ahead and have this stream directly to Twitch. Mm-hmm. Uh, from the service. Uh, that, and that, that would be interesting. Uh, like, another thing I'd like to try as well is, how well does Restream work in, like, GeForce Now and whatnot using, like, like Ubisoft, for example, has an in-browser in their Uplay interface. Like, how well would, like, Restream, like, that work? Who knows? That's something I might give a test out later in the week. Of uh-huh. How well can you stream from inside the service without necessarily fully using the phone or fully using your computer to do it? Uh, you through know, OBS or through uh, Restream on your computer. You know what I want? There's two things I want. I want one. What? I want them to make a xCloud, like a, the more platforms thing. I want them to bring xCloud, well, the app to Oculus Quest. I think that would be real dope. Yeah, because um, I remember back in the day, like... They had the Xbox uh, streaming app on Oculus. Yeah. Yeah, I still have that. So I can use it that way and then play... But that connects directly to my Xbox, not really cloud. Um, yeah. I, you know, I would like them to hurry up with the Series X versions of the games on xCloud. Yeah. But that probably... I don't uh, think that'll come out until it's, like, the 1.0. Uh, well, here's the thing. Game Pass is... Is already 1.0. It's already past. Well, that. I don't think X Cloud. They still say X Cloud is in beta. Like they're still saying it's a beta. No, no, n- no, because they fully released it 
They what? they said they fully released it back in September. No, because I read a tweet today where the, the, they the, said it the was still in beta. Console, the console streaming. Not that... Not, no, like if, console streaming so to the phone. If you go to xCloud... If you go to Xbox Game Pass Cloud Gaming on their website, it says Cloud Gaming Beta with Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. So they are still saying it is a beta. They have not taken out a beta release yet. And I guess yeah. I'll put the link in... Oh, for you. oh, oh, hold up, because that could also be the Game Pass beta app, which which is like uh, an well, no, insider is, app. No, this is just on the Xbox Cloud Gaming website. It's not going to do it. Yes. They don't, they don't advertise the beta app on the page because there's two different apps. They have the regular one. This is the regular app. Because if you click it, get it now, what does it bring you to? Hold on. This brings you to the regular Game Pass app. Yep. It doesn't bring you to the beta one. So I, I'm pretty sure it's still technically in beta. I'll put the link in here for so if you didn't find it. There it goes. No, I, I have it right here. Xbox.com oh, dash you. Yeah. you. Like, I, I, I Googled it and found it myself. Because it, I'm going to also pull up an article uh -huh. of xCloud. Because I remember oh. they did say it was released, but I don't know if they ever said it was out of beta. Um, I know it was out of closed beta and then it released in September. Because it was in closed beta for a while. But I think it is mm. still in beta. Um... Yeah, because I mean, right now there's a beta for uh, the Windows portion. Yeah, this is an internal beta for that. Yeah. Yeah, according to this, they still they still mention it in beta. They don't mention it outside of beta mm -hmm. yet. But it's no longer called Project X Cloud Preview. It's just Cloud Gaming yeah. Beta. What? Um. But yeah, that's yeah. that's all I really got. I don't really have anything else. Like I said, I love fucking yeah. I love Game Pass. Like, I have no issues with this, the paying the, the fee for this. Like, on Black mm -hmm. Friday, I went out and spent $100 and got a year up front. Yeah. Oh, also, there we can add this to, like, the deals. I forgot to say it. Right now, if you're in the U.S., you can get a year of EA Access for 30 bucks. And if you already have um, Game Pass Ultimate, it converts that to three months. No, four months. So you get four months for $30. So you can get a year for um, 100 bucks. So you can still do that. They have not stopped yeah. that yet. So if you need some some Game Pass, you can get it that way. All right. And honestly, I don't have anything else we can uh, talk about in terms of that. Like quite a few features or whatnot. Mm -hmm. It's th the main thing is just more platforms. Yeah. Like, <clears throat> like we 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 need it on more devices so more people can play it. And like I'm. And honestly, having it on the consoles would be yeah. great as well. Like, that way you can use, like, your base Xbox One and just stream the games to it versus trying to uh, play the game directly. So that way you can still play, like, series versions of the games mm -hmm. on a base console. Yeah. On a base Xbox One console. Okay. Yeah, that would be nice if they did that. That's what I, I, that's what I thought the Series S was. I thought they were going to introduce cloud streaming up there. Yeah. But they may eventually, but I don't know if they'll do it right now. Well, yeah. you know, the funny thing is, as soon as... When the Chromium version launches... Fully, and they mm -hmm. released the Game Pass version for PC for the browser. I'm sure it'll work. Yep. I'm for sure the. Uh, I'm sure. I'm sure it will as well. Yeah. Because yeah, because you can play quite a few services now on an Xbox One. Yep. Be it, be it a Stadia, GeForce Now because it's also on Chrome, Amazon Luna. Yep. Okay. So yeah, that's all I got, Rob. Um, you wanna uh, same here. Take us out. You wanna you wanna, you wanna take us out. Well, yeah, this has, been, the show. Yep, this has been the Stratus Gaming Podcast. Each and every Tuesday, we come to you live at 6 o'clock Pacific, 9 o'clock Eastern to talk about all the types of different cloud gaming news and different topics we find and talk about. Uh, I've been Robbie Rob. You can find me at Robbie Rob Plays at almost any platform of choice. And uh, I have my guest over here. Well, not really my guest, my co-host, Ant. Antcore06. Antcore06 at, on everything. On everything except here, I, here on Twitch was addictive nerds. Yeah, don't go to Angora Twitch, Twitch on Twitch. Twitch. It's, it's a dead channel. I killed it. I took yep. it out back and I shot it. Uh, and yeah, um, what, when I when I get to it, you can find the show live or uh, on not live but on VOD on YouTube, mm -hmm. as well as here on the Twitch, and uh, you can listen to it on podcast services around the globe. I have been, like I said, I've been Robbie Rob. That's been Ant. Do you have anything else? Nope. We're going to kick it over to Sal. 
Uh, we only got four people, but whatever. We'll just kick it over to me. Oh, well. Yep. So yeah. So I'm doing it now. Stay awesome. Stay awesome, everyone. Stay awesome.